Hi there, welcome to another video about Production Line, a developer blog for this game. It's currently in early access and we're still working on it, which is why I'm still talking about it. I'm Cliff Ski, I'm the coder, uh, designer, developer, marketing person, business person, everything except music and art, really. Um, I think, yeah, anyway, that's me. Uh, loads of cool stuff has happened um, to talk about. There's some stuff I don't think I mentioned before. This is build 1.0. Four, seven, which I'm actually uploading right now in another window uh, because that's how I roll. Um, there's a few things that, that happen that I'm not sure if I mentioned. Like if you go into finance, um, the, the banks have logos now. I don't know if anyone cares. Um, and also we added a bunch of uh, proper logos for um, the company. So um, something that I put in yesterday because I was ahead of schedule um, was this. I thought, hey, wouldn't it be cool if you had the sign, your company logo on signs um, around the factory? And this is currently my company logo. They don't show up on the red ones because they have these little windows and, we, and uh, that would have been um, a little bit tricky. Um, and they also do update. So if you go to any window that lets you set this, you can basically click on your logo anywhere in the world and you can change it to whatever and set it and you'll get that logo there. People are bound to ask, of course, can you put custom logos in the game for your company? The answer is not yet, but you will be able to because it's really easy to code. I basically just have to enumerate files in another folder. I just, this was very last minute. And these will be the same color as well. That's red on blue. Um, that's because I hacked it together rather than asking the artist to do it. Um, but I will do it properly. Um, so yeah, we have these cool little signs here um, around the factory and I, I quite like that. I like things like that. So that's new. That's new. That's gone in. Um, we have a completely new feature, but also there's a lot of bug fixes and balance changes. Um, if you've been playing the game and you've noticed that um, occasionally you'd get a corrupt save game or just a random crash, I really think I've fixed that now. It hardly ever happened to anyone and... Um, but some people happen to it all the time, which is like, just typical, isn't it? And I know how infuriating that is. So um, what it was, it was to do with um, dropping a slot on top of a conveyor belt that already had a car on it that was queuing for the next slot. Don't ask why, it's just like one of those things that in that particular circumstance, um, I'm going to make that, a, yeah. Um, in that particular circumstance, we didn't delete the car. So the car disappeared, you wouldn't know that there was anything wrong with the game at all. The car disappeared, nothing ever happened to it. But when we went to save it, it saved out the details of its slot, which of course didn't exist. Um, and then that would cause a crash and then you could no longer load in that save game. That is hopefully now fixed. There were also bugs that I talked about um, before, I think, uh, that were related to like the uh, stuff being ordered that shouldn't be ordered and then it would get ditched and it would cause unnecessary bottlenecks. Now, if you're looking here thinking, well, you've got a bottleneck, Cliff, it's, um, it's here. It's, um, it's the alloy wheels thing. And the reason is I kind of have this here um, and I haven't updated it recently. So if I go to fit wheels, um, yeah. So now it's going to start stocking more sensibly and I won't get such a bottleneck here. Um, also, if you actually look here, I'm doing something really stupid. Look. That's where all my wheels are, but they have to go. Do, 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 I mean, that's ridiculous. Um, frankly, just doing that um, when it realizes that that's changed will make a major difference. Anyway, anyway, you know, that's 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 the fun of the game. So um, we fixed some translation related stuff, some characters that would appear just as exclamation marks in certain languages. Um, they will not do that anymore. Um, and we did some balance stuff. Um, so robot upgrades now cost twice what they used to cost and they still seem pretty low to me uh, so if you if you check here if you want to do an upgrade that is now six thousand dollars that's another nine thousand dollars the next one would be another eighteen thousand dollars it's not a lot but it adds up and it stops you doing it without even thinking uh, so that's a change um, scientists wages are 25% higher than they used to be it's just a little nudge in the right direction so if we go here now um, scientist wages actually show up as something that, that it's on there. It's the same as debt interest, more or less. 
Um, and I do have a few loans, don't I? Um, wow. I have three loans. So that should be greyed out. Oh, see, whenever I do a video, there's a bug, isn't there? It's shameful. <laughs> anyway, so we got this really cool new thing. Um, I want to fix the bug to do with marketing campaigns uh, continuing onwards into like the next um, game. Bit of a bug there. Uh, what else? Is there anything else before I talk about the exciting new thing? Oh, yeah, we. Um, oh, the customer awareness achievement was broken and isn't anymore. Um, we quadrupled the cost of rubber. We halved the tyre manufacture rubber requirements, doubled its output, and increased production time. So that's a load of stuff to do with making tyres, basically. Um, so, why did we do any of this? You will notice, especially if you don't expand, if you try and keep in one area like this, which is a little test, you get this sort of problem when you just don't have enough resource importers. And I don't like that as being a constraint. Um, in this case, I haven't laid out my um, conveyor belts very sensibly, so almost everything is coming from over there, which it shouldn't do. Um, I need to rebalance some of that in this particular game. Anyway. I don't, I, I don't like that as, as a constraint, right? So um, what all of these changes do is they ensure that if you're going to be making tires, um, not only do you get to make those tires cheaper, but you get to put less strain on the importers. So the idea is that you can import like four tires or you can import two sacks of rubber and make them into four tires. And therefore you're, you're like halving the resource requirement of um, tires generally in the game so basically you would import a lot of raw materials and then you'd make all of the components in factory and that would make a lot more sense um, so I'm gonna be doing a bit more of stuff like that because uh, people haven't really mentioned it yet but I think they will do when you like when people you know, tend to get towards the end game more so new feature <laughs> um, I don't know why I made that noise anyway we have a new feature which um, I think it was just mentioned in last week's YouTube video. I sort of said, oh, should we do this? And there were loads of comments, loads of emails and loads of forum posts and YouTube comments saying, yes, we need blueprints, like a planning mode. Um, so we have it, it's up here. So if I switch, I get this. The game doesn't pause. You may wish to pause your game. Um, so this shows blueprints for the whole factory and there was a lot of faff to get this to work right and for the fonts to be nice and smooth. If you've played games like uh, Prison Architect or um, School Simulator, Academia, um, you'll notice that loads of games have this sort of thing. But they're lucky because they are top-down games where you just draw a font and you scale it to fit something. And you don't have all this hassle that it's drawn isometrically and all the characters are skewed and yet they still have to fit perfectly and they have to be in these two orientations even though the actual um, slots could be in four orientations and it's just awkward. Anyway, so this is blueprint mode. This All the red is showing you what you've got. And if you want to place down blueprints, you'll notice this turns blue here when I do that. Um, we, we can place down things. So I could place down, um, let's put down something small, um, like, like that, for example. Um, so, you know, you can place these things everywhere and you can still rotate them as normal. Take a big thing that isn't going to fit. So you have these little placement arrows so you can see the direction because obviously you now can't guess it. Um, so, you know, this is a thing and everything's been handled in that you can't place one on top of the other or on top of another thing. Um, stuff like that. Um, so you can place down all this stuff and you can just delete them by right clicking them. Um, also, in the, in the real world, if you go back, you can, you can still see them as like things you're planning to put down. You can delete them just by right clicking them. So um, I think this is quite handy. Like if, if I wanted, uh, I'll press play. If I wanted to have like a load of undercoat things and I, I couldn't afford them yet, I could place down three blank ones and one real one. And then eventually I could come and I could, I could place the real thing down on top of that. So I could then, um, I could then come and do that. Um, something else that you can do with this mode is if um, you can place down loads of stuff 
and then you can go to buy blueprints and it will buy everything that's currently placed if you can afford it. Boom. Um, so you can place out a whole line without spending any money in kind of like planning mode um, and then you can come along and hit buy blueprints. It will only be enabled if uh, there are actual blueprints um, that exist in the world. Um, so uh, oh, what am I doing? That's that's not a blueprint. Um, ah, right here we go. That's a blueprint. Yeah. So then it becomes enabled, and the tooltip will always tell you what the current expense of it is. Um, let me know if you think that the game should automatically pause in this mode. I can't decide. Um, so that is a cool new thing. You can't do it for resource conveyors or resource importers. I think you can do it for. Um, uh, this sort of no you can't so you could do it for research no do you do we need it for facilities I think maybe we do maybe I should do that let me know um, let me know what you think um, anyway that was a load of hassle doing that to put it mildly um, so that's in now and I'm really pleased and hopefully people will like it there's a few things I'm thinking of doing um, one thing is we're gonna uh, hopefully get some more animated characters in um, to have some more variety. They're all the same person. Um, you'll notice that these are all white men um, because we only have one animated model. Um, and you'll notice all the marketing people are women. Um, we just want more variety. It uses up more texture memory, but I think it would be cool if we had more animations of them like, you know, hammering things or stuff like that. Got a little glitch in that animation I need to fix actually. Bit annoying. Um, so we're gonna get some more animation done. Um, something else that I'm going to do now we have these signs on the wall do you like these I think they're kind of cool um, and as a result we don't have many of these we've got one two three four five six seven eight um, I might get a whole bunch more of these I love the fact that they update straight away it's so cool um, so I might get a bunch more of them done something else that I was planning on doing was these supply stockpiles that you can only put them down in a four by four grid I was thinking of doing little half size ones as well that involves a fair bit of code so I can't just like you know knock up a, a new slot and put it down um, so let me know if you like the sound of that as well we have if you go to the main menu um, we have this questionnaire here um, if you're if you're playing the game um, and it, it crops up once for each version and I've added two new options and um, please vote on this each time um, each time you see this you can vote on it it's not like you only ever get one vote it's just for each version so I added um, parking sensors and self-driving tech um, why is it an exclamation mark there that's just bug um, or turbochargers like faster engines do we want high performance engines as an option I think maybe we do um, but I don't know I don't know what's important to you as players and I like to know um, there will be no video next week. There's no video next week because I will be dry at this time. I will be actually possibly on a plane or at least sitting waiting to get on a plane to go to GDC and I'll be at GDC in America, the Game Developers Conference for a week um, talking to people and talking about stuff. Um, not really promoting the game because that's not what you do at GDC, but uh, maybe a bit. I don't know. Anyway, so I will be there doing that and there will not be a video next week. This coming week, excitingly, at Positech Towers, as it were, um, they're actually coming to uh, close off our road to do the final work towards us getting fibre optic broadband, um, which will be fibre to the premises, which if you know about this stuff, that's really fast. It's sort of the fastest you can get, more or less. Um, I live out in the middle of nowhere in fields and our um, upload speed for videos like this is one megabit per second so um, it takes about an hour to upload one of these videos an hour and a half um, and that's if I compress it if I record it at 60 frames per second compress it down to 30 do other compression on it and then upload it it completely maxes out my internet connection for about an hour and a half which is why they're slightly compressed um, and why I don't do them so often, I only do them once a week, I don't stream, I never uh, like stream programming talks or anything like that. Um, if we get fibre, it possibly may be 30 meg up. <laughs> Which would be 30 times this speed. 
um, which would be hilarious. Um, so I might have to do some like gratuitously long HD videos to celebrate. Um, but it, it'll be months before they actually give us the option because I live in a developing world country called the United Kingdom. Anyway, enough of that. Please vote on these things. Uh, if you bought the game and you like it, please uh, leave a review on Steam. Um, that's much appreciated. Or tweet about the game, tell your friends that you're playing Production Line and it's great. Uh, this is in early access. It's also um, on GOG, and it, or you can buy it um, direct from us from our website. And um, it's uh, $17.99, and it's worth every penny. Um, thank you for all your support, and let me know what you think we should be working on, what you like, and what you don't like in the comments. And we'll see you in two, two, where's the camera? Two, two weeks' time. <laughs> Thanks for watching.